Misconduct starring Josh Duhamel, Melin Ackerman, Alice Eve, Byung Hun Lee and also heavyweights like Al Pacino and Anthony Hopkins. It is directed by Shintaro Shimosawa who was also the co-producer of Grudge and Grudge 2. It is a story of Ben, a lawyer who wants to get ahead in life, so he goes after a rich and powerful businessman Arthur Denning. He builds a case solely based on the evidence provided by Arthur's unstable girlfriend Emily. The story takes a turn for the worst when Emily is killed and Ben is framed for her murder. Back at Ben's house, he and his wife Charlotte are also dealing with the tragic death of his newborn baby. Now Ben has to clear his name and it seems like Arthur Denning is willing to do anything to get back the stolen evidence. And oh yeah, Al Pacino is playing a lawyer again. Looking at the trailer of the film, it reminded me of another trailer, Tom Cruise's The Firm. If you have not seen that trailer, I would definitely want you to check it out. It looks same as the trailer uh, of this movie. Even though the movies are different, they both gave me the same vibes. All right, so the reason why I watched this movie is because both Al Pacino and Anthony Hopkins were in the movie together. To my knowledge, this is the first time that they have worked together. This movie was slow throughout its running time. Usually one scene would unlock another and that scene would unlock the next one. There was no fancy camera work or great action scenes, but the slow pace created a good amount of intensity in the movie. Unfortunately, I think the acting in the movie could have been better. There were a couple of actors who I think were miscast for the roles. Josh Duhamel wasn't the right choice for this role because there are scenes where he needed to be vulnerable and he just wasn't convincing enough. The sense of urgency and frustration that was required for the scene was lacking another actor who i felt was wrong for the role was alice eve now there are three reasons why i think she was the wrong choice first she is british so her accent seemed to leak out in certain scenes in most of the scenes she seemed spaced out and i understand that she was going for the mysterious vibe but it completely failed and the third I just did not care about her character as much. Anthony Hopkins and Al Pacino are good in their characters, but their roles are very cliché. It is a little underwhelming to see that happen. But one of the strong points of the movie is Byung Hun Lee. He provides the most entertainment in the movie. I think he is one of the underrated actors in Hollywood. The movie does have some unexpected twists and turns which are very enjoyable. This movie was going for the gone girl kind of a vibe, but it did not fully succeed. The movie is filled with intense scenes and exciting plot lines. It is interesting to see till a point, but then it gets predictable really fast. I give this movie 4 out of 10. Some may like this movie, some may not. so watch it at your own risk i would advise you to rent it rather than buying it as always let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and if you like the video subscribe to my channel or hit the like button thanks for watching see you next time